Hey guys, I'm Kevin Carter here with another anime manga video. In today's video, we will be talking about quintessential quintuplets. Now, this series is actually rather short, only around 12 volumes, so I thought, why don't I talk about why I personally really enjoyed the series and why you should read it yourself. Now, before we start, there will be some major spoilers talking about who wins in the end, some major character moments. There will be stuff that you may not want to hear if you want to pick up the series, so forewarned, if if so. But without further ado, let's get right to it. Now, the first thing that I really enjoy about the series, and that I enjoy about a lot of stuff I read, is the art. I feel like the art here is very good. It's so fluffy. And one thing I like to compare and contrast this art to is Rent a Girlfriend, how that art is very petite. And then you have quintessential quintuplets where it's so fluffy. And I kind of like the fluff. It gives a sort of weight to all the characters. And I think it's really neat. It's really cool. Another thing I really enjoy about this series is that characters grow. Now, we can look at a series like, once again, Rent a Girlfriend. And even though I have said that I like it, I will admit that for some of the series, characters are quite stagnant and don't grow throughout certain events, which would make it frustrating for readers. However, Quintessential Quintuplets doesn't have that issue, and characters grow as you keep on reading, and that's one of its major strengths. It doesn't keep you with stagnant characters, no. All the girls in Quintessential Quintuplets and Futuro, they all grow, and it's really good. Even some of the characters who aren't part of the main six, like uh, the girl's dad or Futuro's dad, get screen time and developed in some way, shape, or form. And it's really good to see these characters grow. And maybe read it just for that, because it's really fun. Probably some of my favorite growth in the series is with Miku and how she grows after a shy show, or with Yatsuba and how she grows to kind of live for herself and just doesn't want to keep everyone complacent. I think it's very good, man. But that's not to say everything's perfect. Uh, Ichika and her growth and what she does to Miku, to the streets, because we did not like what she did. It's good growth, but it sucks, man. It just makes me really mad. I guess it's still decent, though. <laughs> and while we're on the topic of the characters, let's talk about them. I think the characters here are very well defined. I think the fact they're quintuplets is actually kind of pushed to the side and I think that's for the better as characters like Ichika who are said to be who is said to be the older sister is still the same age as everybody but her characterization is so good you barely notice or how you can notice who's who by their body language some scenes or by the, their eyes all the characterization of the quintessential quintuplets the main cast is very good and I think this is really well exemplified when all the girls look the exact same and like when they went to go see the grandfather, but you can still tell who's who by the way they act. And I think that's how good the characterization is for these characters. It's dope. It's really fun to read. It's, it's great, man. And now I want to talk about one thing that I've seen people really hate the series on, and that's the ending. Basically, I'm going to put spoilers, and I'll probably put a timestamp to where it can skip, but... Yatsuba wins, uh, Futuro or Yusugi, and they get married. And Miku, Yats uh, Miku, uh, Niko, or Nino, Ichika, and Itsuki, they lose. And it's fine. But personally, I don't get why people hate this. I feel like the ending was very well set up with all the characters' growth and kind of complemented their growth. Like Yatsuba's growth, Miku's growth. I feel like it all complemented into Futuro's choice in who he would marry. And I think that's very good. Personally, I don't know why people don't like it. Maybe they're just mad that their favorite set of pixels on the screen didn't win, which is fair. But I enjoy it. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It's just, I read Sister Quintuplets, I enjoyed it, and I wanted to tell y'all that it's pretty good and y'all should read it too. Now next video, it's gonna be Anime Profile for Konosuba. We haven't done those in a hot minute cause we're busy, baby. We ain't got no time, we got school stuff. And it's gonna be on Chris. One of the best girls, man. Oh, man, she's good. And yeah, see ya.